Hey, today we're going to set up the Fitbit Flex for the very first time. Out of the box, we have our Flex, and what else do we have? Well, we have our quick setup, which is at fitbit.com slash setup. So we're gonna go there and download any apps. We have a different size wristband. We have the USB dongle, if we don't have a smartphone, and a charging cable. So we're going to charge our Fitbit Flex, download the smartphone app, and we're gonna reinsert the Fitbit into the wrist strap it's pretty easy how to put it back in self-explanatory and once and then we can put it on our dominant wrist and continue the setup from the app now at this point you can log in using a existing account if you have another fitbit device or you can create your account that you can also log in on fitbit.com here we're going to log in and we're going to enable notifications at this point, we're going to tap and go into the account settings of the app and tap on set up a device. From here, we can choose our Fitbit Flex from the list of devices or use our iPhone if we want to just do the tracking that way. At this point, we're going to have our tutorial, our introduction to the Fitbit Flex. So we're going to tap on set up your Flex. And we're just gonna tap on next step and a little bit of information here, how to remove the Fitbit Flex and put in the charging cable, how to put on the strap, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty quick. At this point, the Fitbit Flex should be on your wrist and now it's going to pair using the smartphone. It's gonna connect via Bluetooth, make sure that is on and double tap the screen or the Fitbit to finish the pairing we'll set up our daily step count and fyi just tap the fitbit flex anytime to view where you are with your daily goal each dot is 20 percent and from here we're basically done it's going to sync intermittently and now we're going to cover different topics in future videos but basically you're all set up with your fitbit flex that's all you need to do in order to do this, we start by pressing on the action key and we'll select an activity. So we'll choose run. 